Hi guys, it's Volqu- ow. It's Volquester again. So, that's been a while, but let's get right on to Oxford Reading Tree Super Dog! Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Bridget, like always. So, the dad, the dog of the year show was on television. I love the way the dogs run so quickly, said mom. They seem to enjoy it too. They watched a dog called Pepper. She ran quickly and didn't make a mistake. I hope Pepper wins, said Chip. The next dog was called Raffles. Kipper liked him more than Pepper. I want Raffles to win, said Kipper. Look how fast he can run. Everyone was excited as, as Raffles came to the end, but he didn't win. Pepper did. I knew Pepper could do it, shouted Biff. Floppy was asleep on the floor. Biff poked him with her toe. Wake up, Floppy, she said. Look at all these clever dogs and television. Why can't you do clever things like them? Floppy opened one eye. Then he yawned and went back to sleep. The next day, Biff, Chip, and Kipper went outside to play. Wolf and Wilma came round. Floppy was fast asleep on the grass. Did you see the Dog of the Ear show on television? asked Biff. Yes, it was brilliant, said Wilma. I wonder if Floppy could do some of the things we saw on television. Biff found the box. Come on, Floppy, she said. Let's see what you can do. Jump on this box. Floppy looked at the box. Oh no, I'm too old to do tricks, he thought. The children made a course for Floppy. It had all kinds of things for him to run round or jump over. We must give him a treat every time he does well, said Biff. That's the way to train a dog. Oh no, thought Floppy. I don't believe this. At first, Floppy did quite well, but he soon got tired and fed up. He didn't like the way the children shouted at him at all at the same time. I don't want to be dog of the year, he thought. I just want to be left alone. Oh, Floppy, you're hopeless, said Kipper. Wilma's mom came round. She wanted to take everyone swimming. Kipper liked going swimming with Wilma's mom. She always buys us an ice cream, she said. Floppy was pleased too. He just wanted to find a quiet place to go to sleep. Floppy crept up to Biff's room. She knew Biff and Chip wouldn't be back for a long time. He was almost asleep when something made him open one eye. The magic key was glowing. Dogs don't have magic adventures by themselves, do they? The magic began to work. Floppy was in a big city. The city was full of people and traffic. Everyone was busy. There was noise everywhere. Well, thought Floppy, so this is the big city. I've never seen so many people, and I've never seen such tall buildings. What a place! Floppy explored the city. He came to a steep hill. A tram took people up and down the hill. He had never seen buses like these before. A lady went past with two dogs. What funny dogs, thought Floppy. I've never seen dogs with coats on before. There was a pram outside the shop. And the pram was a baby. Suddenly, the pram began to move. The baby's mother had forgotten to put the brake on. At first, nobody saw the pram moving, but then it began to move faster and faster. Stop that pram! Someone shouted. 
The pram rolled out into the road. By now, it was going too fast for anyone to stop it. Oh no, screamed the mother. My baby will be killed. Do something, somebody. Floppy saw the pram running down the hill. This looks like a job for me, he thought. Floppy ran after the pram and grabbed it with his teeth. He stopped it just in time. Phew, that was a close thing, thought Floppy. Everyone came running up. Do you see what that dog did? shouted the man. He's a hero! He saved my baby, shouted the mother. Everyone made a fuss of Floppy. Did you see that dog? people said. He stopped the runaway prom. He's a super dog, someone shouted. It was nothing, says Floppy. Then suddenly, he saw something else happening. A lady had put her handbag with her shopping. She was looking at the baby in the runaway pram. Suddenly, a thief grabbed the handbag and ran away with it. Help! shouted the lady. My handbag has gone. Another shot, another job for super dogs, thought Floppy. Floppy ran after the thief. The thief tried to get over a wall, but Floppy was too quick for him. He grabbed the man by his trousers, and the man dropped the handbag. Got you, growled Floppy. All right, all right, said the thief. I didn't mean to keep it anyway. People made a fuss of Floppy. This dog is a hero, someone shouted. He got my hand back, back, said the old lady. It had all my money in it. This dog is really is a super dog, said a man. It was nothing, thought Floppy. A big ship was coming in. Floppy went to the dock to see it. There were lots of people watching the ship. Some of them were waving. The people were so excited that some of them went too close to the edge of the dock. Suddenly, Floppy saw something happen. A boy had fallen in the water. Everyone was cheering, so nobody saw the boy fall in. Another job for Superdog, thought Floppy. He jumped in the water and swam to the little boy. Oh no, shouted a man. It's my little boy. He's in the water. Don't worry, someone called. He'll be all right. Superdog will save him. Floppy held the boy's shirt in his teeth. And pulled the boy out of the water. What a dog! said the man. He saved my son. Think nothing of it, thought Floppy. There was a story about Floppy in the newspaper. There were some pictures of him too. Everyone wanted to read about Floppy the hero. The newspaper said that Floppy was called Superdog. It's better than being called Floppy, thought Floppy. Everywhere Floppy went, people said, "There's Superdog. He's a hero." When Floppy crossed the road, all the cars stopped to let him across. "It's Superdog!" shouted the car drivers. "Can we take you anywhere? Do you need a lift?" There were some mean dogs in the city. The meanest dog was called Fang. He went round with a dog called Hook and a dog called Snap. Fang, Hook, and Snap met a lost dog. We don't like dogs who wear coats," growled Fang. "What are you doing in our part of town?" Floppy saw what was happening. He walked up to Fang, Hook, and Snap. I hope you're not being nasty to this old lost dog," he said. "Er,、uh, no, of course not," Super Dog said. "Fan, we're just offering to take him home. Don't worry," said Floppy. "I'll take him."
Some men were working on a tall building. It was dangerous working so high up. Suddenly, one of the men slipped and fell. He was on the girder and couldn't get off. The fire service raced to the rescue, but the ladders weren't long enough. We need to get a rope up to him, but how, shouted one of the firemen, we can't use a helicopter. A crowd of people stood in the street. Everyone looked up at the building. Someone will have to take the rope to him. But who, shouted a man. Another little job for me, thought Superdog. Floppy went to the rescue. He took the rope in his teeth. Then he went slowly along the girder to the men. man. Don't look down, Superdog, shouted the man. It's a long way to fall. Oh dear, thought Floppy. What am I doing in this adventure? I don't like being up here. The man grabbed the rope from Floppy. Thank you, Superdog, he called. You're a real hero. Everyone cheered. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. It was time for Floppy's adventure to end. Well, I can't say I'm sorry, thought Floppy. Biff was cross when he when she found Floppy on her bed. You know you mustn't sleep on the bed, she said. What a bad dog you are, Floppy. Floppy jumped off the bed and crept downstairs. I don't know, he thought. I'm a hero one minute and a bad dog the next. The children took Floppy outside. It's time to do the dog of the ear course again, they said. Suddenly, Floppy ran off. He jumped over the fence and ran away as fast as he could. Come back, you bad dog, shouted Chip. Floppy ran into the park and hid inside a giant pipe. They won't find me in here, he thought. I don't want to be the dog of the year, and I'm not super dog. It, I'm just me. I'm just a floppy old dog who wants a bit of peace. Super dog! Floppy hates it when the children want him to be the dog of the year. But in a magic adventure, he becomes a big hero. Super dog. Thanks guys for watching. Like and subscribe and bye.